We want to bring in now Stetson Miller with a new development today. We're learning that aspirin could make a big difference for people fighting the virus. He explains the drug cuts the chance of death and the risk of being put on a ventilator. Stetson. Vic researchers say that it could certainly make a big difference in their treatment. And for some people, this treatment may even be able to save their lives. We were surprised that a medication that is so inexpensive and widely available would have such a significant impact. In what University of Maryland School of Medicine researchers are calling a landmark study, they found that COVID-19 patients taking a daily low dose of aspirin to protect against cardiovascular disease significantly lower the risk of death and complications from the virus. These patients taking aspirin uh, required the ventilator less often, and most importantly, they also had a significantly uh, decreased rate of death. The study showed that aspirin reduced the risk of death in the hospital by almost 50 percent and also made patients less likely to be admitted to the ICU. When you have a disease like COVID that leads to increased formation of blood clots, um, and then you have a medication like aspirin, which thins your blood, um, and prevents those blood clots from forming, um, it uh, makes clinical sense that it would work. These little aspirin tablets would be the first widely available over-the-counter drug to reduce death in COVID-19 patients if the study's findings are confirmed. But doctors say that doesn't mean you should just start going out and buying them. We uh, advise that patients uh, go to their primary care doctor because they are the ones that are qualified to determine uh, the risks from the benefits of this drug. And Dr. Chow says researchers are cautiously optimistic about the findings of this study, but they do still need to finish a randomized control trial to definitively prove that aspirin does indeed reduce the risk of death in COVID patients. We're live at the University of Maryland School of Medicine, Stetson Miller, for WJZ.